Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. And there we go. <laughs> oh man, that never gets old. Okay, let's jump out from there. That coaster is pretty loud though. Welcome back to Beef Park. How goes it? Today, what I wanted to do... Uh, last time we worked on some more pirate areas, we built this little food and drink stand. It's so funny how little these buildings are, yet they take up so much time, just because they're so intricate. I saw a post on Reddit, I believe, that really inspired me. Someone basically built a enclosed coaster, and it was inspired by... Oh, not on a coaster. <laughs> Construction. It was inspired by Space Mountain, so they built a really tightly enclosed coaster, and then uh, built walls around it, and then used the... Uh, various light sources and stuff to make it look like stars, and I thought it looked really cool. So we're gonna try and actually replicate that today. Okay, uh... Ba -da -da. Wait, what were the different car types? So this one... I think blue will be better. There we go, okay. Uh, that's how you do it. So, uh, we're basically gonna be just building the coaster to start, and then later enclosing the entire thing in a building. So I'm just gonna try and get this nice and lined up as best as possible. Nope, do not snap angle. Just wanna try and line it up with this path. That looks almost good. Not quite, there we go. Okay, and we'll put it a little further back just so we can do some uh, decorating stuff all around it. We'll keep it raised up just so we can go from that path. And we'll start laying out what we want to do. It's probably going to end up being a relatively large building. Like, it'll probably take up the same footprint as this one. We're going to try and keep it as enclosed as possible. Oh, wait. I, for this, I do want the angle snap on. Nope, that's the wrong one. Okay, I'm still learning the uh, difference controls. So we're going to do chain lift. Build, build. Build. And then we're going to level that off. Okay, so we have the first drop here. It goes up and then down. And then I have these bank turns. And I'm going to try and bring it back up and around there. So we're gonna raise it up and bank it this way and start the turn. Actually, we'll start that and then start the turn. Uh, that's, actually, it's too strong of an angle. It's like that, that. Uh, we'll flatten that out now. Hopefully it doesn't crash into that. Okay, there's good space in between it. Okay, and straighten it out there. Actually, no, we want to bring that back one more there. We are. Lower it. And we'll straighten it. There we go. Okay, is that straight? Yeah, so it's basically just going to go back over the part that it was just at. There should be enough speed built up there. If not, we can eventually add chains. Oh, let's actually lower that. So there'll be a nice little crest there. Um, okay, should we have it go left now? Okay, is that straightened out? Yes, it is. Straighten out there, fix the bank. There we go, okay. And I think there would be a good place for a nice loop. Uh, let's do a right, let's do left loop. Corkscrew out. There we go. I should be cool if we could do like a double loop there. There should be enough speed for that. Okay, and then we'll just go with the standard. There we go. So after the two loops, it goes back up, and then has this nice little bank turned down, and then kind of bounces back around. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, this angle up here, <laughs> that's going to be a little bit tough. Uh, not entirely sure if that's gonna work, but here, let's- oh, what? I thought I told it to complete. What's going on here? Yeah, there you go. Build. Done. Why- okay, there we go. Now it's working. Okay, so we'll debug. Um, uh, start. Oh, we gotta add train. Okay, start. And we'll test this out. See if it actually works. There it goes. 
Uh, can I not put the cam on it? Uh, I guess not. Okay. We'll just keep an eye on it, see if it actually works out. Okay, chain works there. I'm just worried about, I don't think it's going to have enough speed. Going down, around the turn. Coming up. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, that's a close one. Oh, that's so slow. Okay, and then first loop. Done. Second loop. Okay. Uh, it's not going to make it up here. It's just too slow and gradual. Oh, bad. Okay, it's actually working out pretty well. I just have to believe in myself, I guess. Yeah, the banks just make it look so much better. Okay. Oh, we have different... Oh, we have different ones? Gaz, Rage. Okay, a Rue Train. Let's see, what does the Rage look like? Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's... So, Equalizer is the standard one. Gasm is... Okay, that's a Screamgasm one. Rage is that one I already saw. Werewolf. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I think for this one, Rage will be good. It's kind of like spacey looking, isn't it? Hi, Debug. Okay, entrance. Oh, I put it on the wrong side. That's okay. We can at least make like the paths loop around. That might be cool. Okay, so we'll do uh, entrance there. Exit there. Hopefully there's enough room. <laughs> Let's see, for the queue, what do we want to do? Did you want to have it loop around? Well, let's angle snap 15 degrees. Hey, this would be cool to have this indoors as well, then people kind of have to pass through it. Okay, you gotta do this. This thing, it defaults to camera follow. Uh, I'm not super, I don't really like it that much. I think camera free is much better. There we go, we have the entrance and exit hooked up. Coaster's looking good. And so now we have to start the long process of enclosing it. Uh, probably do blue. I think that'll look the best. Because right now we just have the blue and the white. I guess we could do the other colors, but I think blue would be good. If we're going to be trying to make it look like the dark, deep blue like night sky. But where to start? Um, Let's see, let's find like the point... Where it goes out. There we go. I think that should be good. Okay, and I'm basically just gonna go from here. Probably just go around the entire thing. And then start from there and try and build up. It's gonna be a really big building at the uh eventually. Well, this is taking a while. <laughs> it's taking about a half an hour to complete this. Well, maybe not half an hour. Maybe like, I don't know. Like 20 minutes. Anyway. Uh, finishing up here, there's a little option here for auto stacking. That's pretty helpful. I didn't discover it until I was almost done with that wall. So that's why that part took way longer. But you just hold it there, and it'll just build them up. It moves the camera sometimes, which can make it a little junky. But if you zoom out enough, see, I don't know why it just moved the camera that time. That's so weird. I don't know why it's doing that. And I skipped it. I just did it again. I'm not doing that. I don't know why. Like, it's on the same one, too. Ugh. Anyway, okay, and there we go. Oh, these ones are accidents. We can delete those. There we go. Okay, but you generally have whew, the whole building done, all enclosed except for the roof. Unfortunately, the light won't be blocked 100%, so this thing will only look really cool at night. It's just because these buildings don't actually block them. Like even if we put the roof on it right now, um. Oops, I probably should edit the building first. There we go. Roof's roof. Thank you. So, like, even if we did that, it's not going to block all the light completely. Oh, this is going to be... The roof is going to be really annoying to do, too. Actually, it shouldn't be too bad to panel over. I don't want to do the roof yet. I do want to really get in here and edit it. Actually, you can go through the walls. I think it'll just be easier to do it uh, without the roof on it for now. Uh, but basically, what we're going to be doing is using... The attachments, where are they? No decorations. I'll oh, probably mix of these colored lights and let's see. Arm light. Small square lamp. So that thing should just emit light, I believe. So we're basically just gonna be covering uh, using like the walls as stars. And these should light up pretty well. So I'm basically just gonna coat the inner walls with these lights uh, to start. 
Okay, so we have all those lights in there. I'm actually gonna close off the roof now. And wait for uh, nighttime just to see uh, what it looks like. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, it came out okay. We're riding in it right now in the front seat. Let's see how this looks. I have to wait till nighttime, so it's actually dark, but it looks pretty cool. Like, it's clearly not super dark in here, but it's not bad. And the first time we have rid of this thing in the first person mode. So I'm interested to see. Uh, it's really hard to add the lights to the roof. Like, next to impossible. I'll show you why in a second. There we go, first loop. And I was having trouble adding the floor, but the floor doesn't look bad. Like the the grass, I don't mind it that much. There we go back over. I think it looks cool. The the stars and stuff on the sky. Now some of those turns could be smoother. We just drove through like a pylon. That was interesting. Oh, <laughs> uh, what happened there? Let's pause it just so we stay at nighttime. Okay, yeah, that's going through that. I'm probably gonna have to change up where these paths are because right now they don't exactly line up. Uh, so if we go to edit, like, the best I could do, just to make it even, I had to remove all three of those. Yeah, I'll probably change it up so they actually exit through one properly. Or maybe, like, have it exit through two. But it doesn't matter, the people can walk through it, but there we go. The big cube. <laughs> it looks pretty funny. It took a while to make, it took me like an hour and a half to do this, but it's not bad. I think it looks pretty swell. Uh, let's unpause this. Let's get some more people in here. And let's see if we can get a cool shot cinematically. Actually, no, the look back should be good. I wonder if we're gonna be able to see any of the stars or anything cool when it's going upside down. See, there is light coming down through the entrance over there, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I did- if, if there was black, it'd look even better, like black walls or anything, because these blue walls are kind of causing everything to get a little bit of a blue cast. And I think the actual sun's coming up now, that's why uh, that wall's starting to look more and more blue. Woo! <laughs> Alright, cool. That works. But, I'll probably do some decorations and stuff all over this, add some more things, but definitely leave a like if you guys did enjoy and would like to see more Planet Coaster in the future. See, can we do like cinematic camera? Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.